Hello, what's up guys? Uh, today, this is a different video. I just want to show uh, something that I had trouble with. So I was having an issue where I would export the fur of the character to a reel, but it was very hard to solve how to make it so the fur takes up the color of the, the skin, of the texture. Uh, so I will show you how to do that here. Uh, first, of course, you need to have the character UV uh, with the texture on top of it, right? Very simple. And I will do this using the new uh, Blender hair system. So you go, you select your mesh, you go to curve, uh, select fur. Let's say that I'm using this fur. This is just an example. You click here, you go to data uh, properties, attributes, and you, you click on add radius and you click here, add color. Uh, you can also add roughness. So you got custom here and you got roughness, roughness. Okay. After that, you go to curves and here you have to select a uh, surface UV coordinates. Here you select color, here you select roughness. And here you select with a radius. Uh, I forgot to mention, but you have to use this add-on called uh, Groom Exporter. I had, a, I had some issues with this add-on uh, where um, the mesh wouldn't work or it wouldn't export. If you have those issues, uh, try to install uh, the other versions. Uh, for me, the the version 15 uh, seems to work. so. And then you hit uh, here export. You can type uh, whatever name you, you want here. So let's say, oh my God, this finally works because I spent the whole day yesterday trying to make this work and it didn't work. Uh, then you go to Unreal, you go to import, uh, select your file. Uh, oh my God, this finally works, it's this one. You open it and you can see the the Groom Importer says that it has root UV, it says true, it has to be true, and has color, it also has to be true for this to work. So you, you import, and you uh, here's, a, here's a, the Groom, but this is not it. You have to do another thing for this to work. So you select the Groom, you double click it, uh, let's add some uh, width so it's easier to see here. Uh, you create a new material and it has to be a hair material. So this one, you click here, material, you go default shading, you go to hair. And here we are going to do something. You're going to add a hair attribute, hair attribute. You get this uh, attribute uh, node and you are going to connect the root UV with your texture. So I already imported my texture here the same uh, texture that you use here, you need to use it there. So you have it here and you connect the root UV to your base color. Of course, you can do other things after that. Maybe you can blend this resulting color with other stuff to add some variation and stuff, but this is just the basic of how it works. And then you add, where is the new material? This one, then you go to materials you open a slot here and you add the, the material. Uh, you have to also check here, you on the search bar, you go to strand and you check this one, it's called use uh, with hair strand. You click OK there and you save it. And then you will see that the fur has the, um, have the color information from the, from the model. And then you can of course put the model on top of it and I have a, a lot of trouble doing this yesterday, so I hope this works. And you can, of course, you can refine how this uh, fur looks and using, you know, Blender tools and that kind of stuff. But that's it. All right. I hope this was helpful. Take care. Bye-bye. Subscribe.